You just need to know, Black Women Green Future. Because so many people erase Black people, but it's specifically Black women, from the conversation around environmental justice. I'm not like a climate activist by nature. I'm one by, by necessity. Usually black and brown folks are more likely to live in proximity to environmental hazards, uh, live in communities where our water is poisoned by lead or our air is poisoned by industry. Um, and because of that, you know, our lives, the trajectory of our lives is, is, is remarkably different. And so we started wondering, is the air that we breathe, the food that we eat, the water that we have, the products that we put on our skin, our hair, have any impact on the outcomes that we have in maternal health, in pregnancy health, right? And what we found is short answer, yes. But when you ask what are Black women in the future, or why do we have a stake? I think of it just plain and simple as, we don't got no backup earth. What does it look like for us to reimagine our futures? What is it like for us to reimagine in a way that is outside the mediocrity of white men's imagination and us be able to think about what it looks like for the liberation of black folks? Because there are so many different ways that we can reimagine the different types of things that we are doing with an environmental lens for us to actually start working in ways that brings black joy. And people are always asking, you know, are you a tree hugger? Like, what about polar bears? All of these things. And while trees and polar bears and our animals are a very important indicator of what is happening with the environment, when we look at our lives, everything about us is in our is our environment where we work, live, play, pray, go to school. But unfortunately, the, the environments for Black people, for Latino people, for Indigenous communities, for, for low-income white people, is is typically the worst environments where we're the closest proximity to some of the most harmful facilities. I would say if you like to drink clean water and bleed, breathe clean air and eat fresh food, you too are an environmental justice advocate. You are already a part of this movement, whether you know it or not, and you have the opportunity now to get engaged locally. You just need to know, Black women green future.